Hey everybody, this is Callum from Tacuban. Today we're going to take a look at the Briggs & Wrighty uh, Baseline Series bag. This one is called the International Carry-On Expandable Wide Body Upright Suitcase. Um, so we're going to take a look into it, explore the features and understand what makes this bag so special and why I wanted to get it to show you all today. Okay, so uh, Briggs and Riley. It's a company that was established in 2006, and they have a very strong reputation. If you didn't know this already, of producing very high-quality travel products. Um, their baseline series is my favorite. Uh, I love it because of their very considerate size, dimensions. This one specifically measures in at 21 inches tall, 15.5 inches wide, and 8.5 inches deep. So it's, it's called the international carry-on because most international flights have stricter uh, height restrictions, or more strict height restrictions. Typically the, the US flights have 22 inches of space allotted, uh, international flights just around 21 inches. Uh, so this will fit. It's a little bit wider, which allows you to still store more things. Usually bags for American specs are 22 inches tall, 14 inches wide. So you gain an inch and a half or so um, of, of, of width. Um, and that'll pay off later as we take a look at the uh, main cabinet. Let's go from the outside in though. So from the back. This is called the outsider handle. And you'll notice most bags, they have their handles built into the bag itself. And what you have then is, you know, these two sticking inside the compartment. And so when you're putting clothes there, it's not flat, right? So you're going to have wrinkles. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to rearrange things like maximize your spaces um, that you have in there. So with the handles on the outside, you eliminate that. You have a flat interior, which we'll get to see. Um, the handle is very nice. It is uh, aircraft grade aluminum. It has four height settings, so you're sure to find one that'll fit your liking. Okay. And uh, what they've also done with this space is they said, well, what, you know, we have an empty spot here now, so they've added a what it looks like to be a umbrella. Uh, compartment which is nice it feels like this part is waterproof however this part is the same ballistic nine on um, so that's unfortunate that this section isn't waterproof as well but you know if you have a dry umbrella you can put it in there um, not that you would I guess put a wet umbrella in there but anyways there's that they've built in a name tag this is pretty neat so you don't have to go out and buy one or stick it on your handle. Uh, it's built right in. So that's the back of the bag. I should mention that this is a two-wheeled bag, so you can probably tell. Um, I'm a fan of two-wheel bags. I think the spinner bags, the four-wheel bags that are out there, first the wheels take up too much space um, because the airlines, they measure the height from the wheel to the handle. So, if, you know, two inches is your your wheel size and that's taking two inches away from what you can be packing and you're talking about a carry-on you're thinking about traveling only with the carry-on every bit of space matters uh, every bit of space helps you pack for that trip um, the wheels are, are very strong they seem durable double bearings um, this will probably be a good time to point out the fact that Briggs & Wrighty has an outstanding warranty policy. They call it the simply as that policy. And what that means is anything that happens to this bag, whether it be your fault or the airlines or someone else's, Briggs & Wrighty will cover your repair free of charge for the lifetime of the bag. Um, that is uh, a pretty loud statement to how 
much they believe in the quality of the bag. So these wheels, uh, from what I know, uh, these are meant to be very sturdy, very stable. However, if they do come off the bearings, uh, they're easily replaceable as well. Um, going to the front, before we look at the compartments, I wanna talk about the zippers a little bit. Uh, these are YKK zippers. YKK is a major zipper manufacturer. These are their uh, self-restoring zippers, I believe they're called. Anyway, they're very high quality. You can feel it when you're using it. Um, it's just nice. I like, you know, this is pretty standard, but these lock obviously for uh, a TSA approved lock in place. Um, now let's get on to the speed through compartment. They call it the speed through because the idea is, oh, I like that orange lining there. They call it the speed through because, you know, it's about this deep, okay? And got my hands width or hands length wide. Um, it's a good enough size for your passport, for your uh, booking pass, no, boarding pass, boarding pass. Your cell phone, anything you may have in your pocket, you wanna just throw in here um, instead of laying it out in the bin where you're going through security, it's a quick and easy uh, access compartment for you to use. That's pretty convenient. Um, this is their U-shaped U compartment. The idea here is you have uh, enough space here for your laptop, um, for a jacket, a parka, something that you want quick access to. You don't want to necessarily open the main compartment in the bag. You open this out, it was like this, you just slot in, magazines, books, Kindles, tablets, whatever you have in there. Again, convenience. This one, a little perplexed about, I know it's a strap, and the idea is, let's see here. The idea is you open this up, you get this hooked on, uh, let's see, you get this hooked here, right? And then you can expand this, you wrap, I guess a, uh, another bag around and, and you compress it. I, I probably won't be using this. Um, if, if you learn more about this, please do let us know in the comments or do let me know in the comments. Uh, for now, I'm gonna pretend that it doesn't exist. So I, 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 don't, I won't be using that. Um, let's see here. Handles on this side, which is nice. Oh, gotta talk about the top handle. This top handle is like a suede material. Feels unbelievable though. Yeah. What am I carrying the luggage with that handle on? Okay, all right. Is everybody ready for the main compartment? I think I am. Okay, let's take a look. All right. Okay, let's see what this is about. There's a couple things going on here. Uh, let's start with these two guys. Briggs & Righty has a patented uh, compression system. They call it the CX. Uh, so the way it works is you open that up, you lift this bottom portion, and then you pull up top. And this allows you, I think, 25%, 33%, 25 to 33% more packing space. So you lift this up. You raise the compartments because these are compressed fabric on the sides, right? You pack everything in there, you zip it up, and then you press down, squeezing all the air out, okay? Um, and, and this goes a long ways, again, going back to, to every inch matters. This goes a long ways to helping you maximize your packing capacity. Right uh, for your international trip. So we're going in there. Uh, they have a built-in suitor. You can see this. There it is. So you can have your hook here. All right. You have a roller here. And you could pack a suit, a dress. Um, I think they say up to two. Uh, garments, dresses can be in there. Anyways, if you don't use this, you can always remove this. Here, detaches, and you can just use that as you would a normal upper half 
my compartment. There is still a bit of room in there, right? I have a mesh pocket. Some stuff. Oh, they give you a lock. This is cool. All right. And here, this is what we were talking about from the outside. Flat. Uh, mostly flat. Mostly flat. I mean, if you really, if you really push down on it, you could kind of feel the outline of this side, but you know. The idea is it's still it's it's a lot better than your traditional bags where you have the handles inside. Um, lining's good. Oh, this just feels luxurious. I should mention at this time that this bag retails for four ninety nine, and Briggs and Variety rarely goes on sale. I think I saw it one time they were at like a fifty dollar discount. So four forty nine will be the price of this bag. <sighs> My thoughts on that, you know, for most of us, this bag is a aspirational purchase. Um, you know, to, to show out four or five hundred bucks on a bag, unless you really travel a lot, you know, um, it's, it's probably not something you're gonna do. However, I think it's it's good to know that you know there's a bag out there like this. Um, I, I love the bag. I love the bag. If you're if you're looking for a sturdy carry-on companion, something uh, that you can count on to get you through uh, the gaining process without a problem, um, something that allow you to pack you know, a week, so maybe even two weeks worth of, of clothes in here. Um, something that will last you for quote unquote a, a lifetime, you know, a very long time. Uh, you can't do any better than this bag. Um, there are some others out there uh, who may look a little shinier with the harsh, harsh shell cases and some of which we'll see probably in a little bit. But for a traditional, you know, fabric or, or nylon soft shell case, um, this is as good as it gets. And, you know, so it's good to know that there's, there's this option out there. Uh, like I said, for most of us, this will be an aspirational purchase, but it is worth every penny. Um, especially when you factor in, you know, the competition and what they offer. Uh, this one just really stands above the rest with the CX system, with uh, the quality of the materials used. I mean, it'd be a little scary at first listening to the ratchet. Uh, but, you know, it works. It works, and that's what's important. You get a bag, you're investing in a bag, right? Um, and you're gonna get very good value out of this guy. I know it's kind of hard to really value out of a five hundred dollars suitcase, but if if there was ever any, this will be the one. Shout out to uh, Europe and Asia. Thank you all for uh, tuning in and and checking out our videos. We really appreciate it. We're still looking for our first subscriber, our first comment, our first thumb, either up or down. Please uh, please let us know what you think. Um, we would love to hear from you. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video.